Hello Market Club members everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, we have three energy stocks for you to look at today. We think these markets are going to go higher. We had a signal on our monthly trade triangle which changed the whole dynamics of this market. Also, these markets have been on two-year bear markets. This, unlike the stock market, general stock market has been moving higher. The energy markets have been lower for the last couple of years. In fact, we, the first stock we're looking at is EOG, EOG Resources. That's how I pronounce it. The highs that came in like the June-July period of 2014. You can see it's been just boom, steady downtrend, boom, a steady downtrend, boom, a steady downtrend. And suddenly we sort of made that turn. Things didn't seem to be, or seemed to be getting better perhaps. So that's the trend line. And it comes in just around 78, 79 maybe. Uh, you can see that it's pretty close, but it looks like we have, we're going to break over this on the upside. So let's look at the stock a little closer. You can see if we just zoom out a little bit further, you can see it's got a nice base that we've been building here. And I think that's an important element to, to look at. Certainly a move over the 78 and level and close over there would be very powerful in our opinion. We are a little overbought, but we are over the 50 line. And if we put our trade triangles in, you can see basically they're all positive, all green, plus 100 strong upward trend, the signal came in yesterday at 77.70, it's 77.42 right now. You can actually buy it lower than the signal. I would say any close over 78 is going to look really, really good for this particular stock. And that stock is EOG Resources, symbol E-O-G. Next stock we're looking at is Oxy, Oxy Dental Petroleum. is a very well-known uh, stock, uh, formerly owned by Arm & Hammer. But uh, you can see this again. This has built a nice base. You can just see how it's just been over the time. It's sort of built up. You can see just sort of like tried to go down, so like this. And then suddenly we're over this period. Unlike EOG, this market closed over a new high ground, looking very good, over the 50 line, looking very positive. All of our trade triangles are green, plus 90, another strong upward trend. I would say we could see easily see this market perhaps go up to the 78 area, certainly up to the 76, 78 area, which doesn't seem like a lot, but if we go there, then the bigger picture is we could see this market definitely go to the 80 level and then possibly up to 90 and even 100. I mean, things do change, and you can see this market's been as high as 110, and it's come all the way down, almost cut in half, and we're coming back up. So that's one to look at. Occidental Petroleum, symbol OXY. Another stock, similar pattern. You can see how it's just moving around like this and suddenly Schlumberger, a very well-known stock. SLB is the symbol. Up today, symbol, we came in at 76.08. It's 76.82, so we've got about 75 cents in this profit right now, but it looks like it's just beginning uh, to move up. I would say if it closes here, I would want it still be long. I think we could see it really go up to probably at least the 80 level in the interim, in the, in the short term. But nonetheless, I think this stock has, will scope it out even further. It's been as high as almost 100. Well, the high was right around 115 maybe. So I think that's where you want to look at as a potential target. Certainly the 80 to 90 level is going to be the next level short term. But then I think if we, as we pick up steam and let's just look at another thing too with the uh, draw a trend line in here you can see basically this particular stock has broken over the trend line this is a long-term trend line started in july of 2014 when most of the stocks these oil stocks peaked out and you can see it just made the turn so things are looking good slumberger definitely on the list it's higher today you want to be long this stock. We talked about gold and we still are bullish on gold. We think all of our trade triangles are positive. Even though we're down today, I would say this is probably more of a buying opportunity. If you want to be a little bit more conservative, wait to get to the 50 line. But nonetheless, we think gold and crude oil are going to move in tandem and move higher. You can see yesterday we had a signal in crude oil at 41.90. It's 42.22. This is the first signal we've had in this market in quite some time, and it signals that this market has, in fact, bottomed out. So let's take a look at just the picture. We showed you the picture before in the oil stocks, but you can see how this is just sort of playing out. There's the double bottom. We talked about this before. There's the pivot point. That was the target zone, which we reached. We came up. We had the correction. There's about a 50% correction, and now we're starting back up again. Now, the fact that we had a weekly yesterday, you can see that on our trade triangles. All you have to do is just search right here, right under here, 
and you see the new trade triangles for the day, whether it's stocks, futures, whatever you want to look, look for. But generally speaking, now that we're over this point, if we close over this point, you can measure from this point here, which is 42, down to 36. So that's $6. That would take you $6 higher from 42 up to 42, takes you to 48. That would be a target zone, at least I would say somewhere like that, somewhere around the 47, 48, 47, 48 level as a target zone for oil right now. That has, as we say, made the turn in our opinion. New recovery high in the Dow. We've moved over the previous highs right here. As you know, we were moving sideways for a while. The parabolic did give us a signal that weakness coming to the market. It didn't happen. We gave a buy signal today. But however, the momentum hasn't reached the previous highs. Something to worry about. And also, when you take this market out, we really are getting very close to this resistance area around 1800 so I'd, I'd watch that very very carefully my concern is if oil's going higher and gold's going higher maybe the market's telling you something in those two markets which may have a very negative appeal on equities we but we still have problems with uh, Greece we still have problems with potentially with Italy uh, which haven't come out yet but nonetheless there's a lot of challenges in the world and I can't see how the central banks and the Fed can lower interest rates anymore it just doesn't make sense so let's see how that plays out here's a six-month chart of the Nasdaq you can see basically we had a signal today a monthly the first time we just turned this around for the first time in quite some time at 4,926.73 it's a little bit lower than that right now but nonetheless it did turn around so we have to respect that again I'm not that enthusiastic about this market particularly with all this resistance right around the 5,000 and 5,100 level this rally in equities has to be the most unloved rally of all time I've never seen anything quite like this before it just it keeps going up but nobody's enthusiastic about the market at all that I can find so let's take a look at the, this market again this is the S&P 500 Again, we have this resistance level uh, from these previous highs. I think it's going to be enough to thwart the market. Also, we have a situation where potentially we could have a divergence. Watch that very, very carefully. Hey, I'm Adam Hewis, and thanks for watching this. Be sure to check out those energy stocks. Also, we're still bullish on gold. This pullback in gold today may be an excellent buying opportunity. Thank you for watching, and every success with Market Club.